Yo, what's up guys, it's Fairby Shotgun, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to use the draw mask in DaVinci Resolve. So right here in our media pool, I've got two clips. One of me walking, and the other clip is drone footage of mountains. I'm gonna put the video of me walking on top and put the video of the drone footage on the bottom. This way we can see the video of me walking before seeing the drone footage. My idea was to make a transition of when I walk, behind me turns to mountains. To get to the draw mask, we need to go to color. We go to the window section, then we click on curve. You can use any of them, but I prefer curve. Right click over here and click on add alpha output. Then drag this dot to this dot. Then you wanna to go to tracker, click on frame. Now you're ready to do your draw mask. Find the moment where my back shows any sort of wall. Then you want to trace the draw mask, put a couple of dots like this. Then connect everything else. Hit your right arrow a couple times. This should bring you to a couple frames forward. You drag your previous dots over and you should start to see the clip on the bottom will appear. You go to the right a couple more times and we drag and drop. And you'll want to repeat this process until you or whatever you're masking out is out of the frame. Now that I'm out of the frame, I will go back and go frame by frame to see if the mask is exactly at the place where I want it to be. Now right here, I found it in perfection. And to fix that, I'll just drag this one here and the next frame also. Now that we have our draw mask done, you can use the soft function to soften the mask to make it less noticeable. Let me show you. This is before I increase the softness. When I increase the softness, you can see there's a blur, which basically blends the colors in between. Now, in order to set the softness to every single frame, you wanna go back to your tracker, click on clip. Instead of using frame by frame, you wanna use the entire clip. Go back to window and increase your softness or decrease it to whatever you like. Go back to your tracker and turn this back to frame so that your mask doesn't stay like this the entire clip. Now, let's look at the results. Looks pretty seamless to me. Now let's say you want a title to appear, and then when you walk over it, title disappears with me and the background. So in order to do that, you want to go to titles, get a nice title, put some text in your title. And now what we want is that when I walk over it, the text mountains plus plus wipes off the screen. We can go back to our color, go back to our window tab, go to curve, add alpha output, and now you can see it's black. And now we add a couple of dots in the middle, add a couple on the edges. And now we do the same thing we did last time. We go a couple frames forward, then we move these dots back. And now we move these dots to where my body is. We form the shape of the body and we repeat this process until it's done. And now that we've deleted the entire word mountains plus plus, we will go back to the beginning and find out if there are any imperfections by going frame by frame. Right here, you can see some of the wall, which is totally fine. All we care about is the word mountains plus plus. Now make sure you go back to tracker, click on clip, go back to window, then you use soft to soften it, go back to tracker, go back to frame. Then after we increase the softness, make sure to connect this blue triangle to this green circle to remove the black background from the text. Now, let's look at our results. That's all for today, folks. Subscribe.